Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Indira Natarajan. I'm the clinical director for neurosciences and uh, clinical lead for the stroke services at University Hospital of North Midlands. Uh, since the uh, pandemic uh, outbreak of COVID-19 uh, from around March, we have started noticing a significant reduction in number of stroke patients coming into the hospital. We are a tertiary neurosciences center in the region and we see around 1,300 strokes every year. On an average, we see around three to five patients every day for assessment, but those numbers have significantly gone down and that is a very worrying trend. And there are two folds to that. In this uh, lockdown period, uh, there is a possibility that people's lifestyles have changed, they're taking the medications on the right time, they're exercising more, they're breathing fresh air. All that can reduce the number of strokes and heart attacks, but not to this extent. So what we are very worried about is two groups of people. The first group of people are a group of people who have minor symptoms, uh, who got some sort of face weakness, arm weakness, leg weakness, but are able to carry on with their activities of daily living. Possibly these group of patients are thinking that it is better to stay at home rather than to go into hospital because they are all very worried that they will get this COVID virus. I want to emphasize that it is very important that these patients contact us and uh, come to hospital because if you have had a minor stroke, it is very important that you go on the right medications to prevent you from having a catastrophic stroke down the line. It is very important that you need to seek medical help. The second group of people that we are worried about are elderly people who are living on their own and who are having strokes. What we are noticing during this COVID crisis is a lot of patients who have had strokes are calling for help at a very late stage. This is possibly because they've had a stroke, fallen down, uh, and nobody has seen them for a couple of days or people who normally go and visit them are not going and visiting them because of this pandemic. So uh, my request to all of you is if you have an elderly relative, friend, neighbours, please try to establish some sort of communication with them on a daily basis. It is very important that we make sure that they are all okay mm -hmm. and they are taking the medications okay, they've got enough supply of the medications and uh, it is a very important thing.